Reading is awesome. And so are you. And so is the book we're going to read today. It's called Mouse's Halloween Party by Jeannie Modisset and Robin Spowart. It's a story about friendship and sharing and about how sometimes even though you're friends, you could possibly upset each other, but there's always a way, a solution to come back to being friends again. I hope you like this book as much as I do. Let's get started. It was the day before Halloween and Mouse was excited. He had just asked Mama if he could have a Halloween party tomorrow. And Mama had said yes. Mouse danced on one foot. His party was going to be the best Halloween party in the world. Can I invite Hedgehog? Mouse asked Mama. Of course, said Mama. And Squirrel? Absolutely. And Bunny and Mole and Pig? Mama smiled. You can invite them all, she said. Mouse jumped in the air. Yippee, he said. The next step was to go see his friends and invite them to the party. Mouse put on his Halloween costume and skipped out the door. Oh, look at his Halloween costume. So cute. He looks like a superhero. His first stop was Hedgehog's house. Mouse knocked on the door and Hedgehog and his papa opened it. Can you come to my house tomorrow at four o'clock? Asked Mouse. I'm going to have a Halloween party. Hedgehog looked up at his papa. Can I, papa? He asked. Hedgehog's papa nodded. Sounds fine to me, he said. Hedgehog turned to Mouse and smiled. I can go, he said. Good, said Mouse. See you tomorrow. Bye. Next, Mouse went to Squirrel's house, then Bunny's, then Mole's. All three said yes. They would love to come to Mouse's Halloween party. Good, said Mouse to each of them. See you tomorrow. Finally, Mouse arrived at Pig's house. Mouse knocked on the door and Pig and her mama opened it. Guess what? said Mouse to Pig. I'm having a Halloween party tomorrow at four o'clock and Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole are all coming. Can you come too? There will be lots of games and Mama is making Halloween cupcakes. Hmm, I wonder what Pig is going to say. Do you think Pig will go to the party? Hmm, let's find out. But instead of saying yes, Pig started to cry. Mouse's eyes opened wide. Pig, what's the matter? Don't you like Halloween parties? Pig's mama put her arms around Pig. Pig, do you want to tell Mouse why you're crying? Oh, I did not see that coming. I wonder why Pig is crying. Hmm. Pig turned to Mouse, her cheeks wet with tears. 
I, I was going to have a Halloween party tomorrow too, she said. A look of surprise came over Mouse's face. You were? He said. Pig nodded. Two big tears fell from her eyes. I, I was going to invite Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole and you. I even made Halloween presents. And Mama made Halloween cookies. It was going to be the best Halloween party in the world. And with that, Pig let out a fresh burst of sobs <laughs> and ran from the door into her room. Pig's mama patted Mouse's head. Don't worry, she said. It's not your fault that Pig is so upset. Maybe she can have a Halloween party next year. And she said goodbye to Mouse and closed the door. Hmm, oh no. Mouse has made Pig sad. And Pig is his friend. I wonder what he'll do. Mouse turned away from the door. He felt sad that Pig was crying. He walked home and told Mama what had happened. When he finished, Mama kissed him. I'm sorry Pig is so sad, she said. Mouse sighed. Me too, he said. Mouse leaned against Mama for a minute, then said, I think I'll go outside and swing for a while. He walked into the backyard sat down on the swing, and pushed himself off the ground. Hmm, the swing must be where Mouse does his thinking. Hmm. Back and forth he swung, back and forth. Then, all of a sudden, Mouse came to a stop. He jumped off the swing, ran inside the house, and called out, Mama! Mama, I have an idea. Hmm, I wonder what his idea is. What is he going to do? Later, Mouse was again knocking on Pig's door. Pig and her mama opened the door. Pig's eyes were red from crying and she was sniffling. <laughs> Mouse danced on one foot. He was very excited. Pig, he said, I've got a great idea. You and I could have a Halloween party together. Pig stopped sniffling. Together? she asked. Yes, said Mouse. We could invite Hedgehog and Squirrel, and Bunny and Mole to a Halloween party at the park tomorrow. I'll bring my games and my mama's Halloween cupcakes, and you can bring your presents and your mama's Halloween cookies. What do you think? Hmm, what do you think of Mouse's idea? A wide smile filled Pig's face. I think that sounds great, she said. Good, said Mouse. You want to come with me and tell everyone about our party? Pig looked up at her mama. Mama smiled down at Pig. Go ahead, Pig, she said. Pig reached out to take Mouse's hand. Come on, Mouse, she said. Let's go. And off the two friends went to invite Hedgehog and Squirrel and Bunny and Mole to the best Halloween party in the world. Well, what do you think about that? Recently, Pig was in tears 
and Mouse didn't know what to do to help cheer his friend up. And then Mouse went to his thinking place, his swing, and came up with this idea to share the party, to make it their party instead of just his party. And look at everyone having a great time and eating the snacks and playing the games. What a great solution Mouse came up with to share the party. I know that you like to share. And you know what? That's what makes you a good friend. And that's what made this book a good book. In fact, it was kind of awesome, wouldn't you say? Do you know what else is awesome? (laughs) That's right. Reading, reading is awesome.